Hey guys, Tracer here. Welcome back to Pokemon Surrogates. Earlier than earlier than usual, huh? But for good reason. The reason being, the Sword and Shield coming out. I think it's a good time to end this series off now, since the Sword and Shield hype is going to take is going to take over. And any other Pokemon video that's not Sword and Shield probably going to be ignored a bit. So there's, so that's my reason behind doing the doing the finale now instead of waiting till Friday. And that is but that aside, I think it's been I, I can be happy with how this thing is, how this series is gone. And the fact that I'm the fact that I'm here now. And on a fan game that that get, even gave me the idea of trying to do YouTube videos in the first place five years ago. But that aside. Let's get going. Something happened. Four. Alright. Also, I'm going to do... I'm going to do the tough decision and squad Mir Fiona out with Frankie for this. I think she... I don't know. Yeah, Frankie's probably a good idea for a lead because he's, bul he's bulky and can take pretty much any hit. We're in the champion's room. There's no music at all. Let's see who the champion is. Wait. It can't be. Surprised to see me? I guess you would be. Why would I, Rakua, be the champion? I don't even battle. I usually sit. I usually send Tane to do my work. I spend my life seeking perfection. Deltas, Megas, Armors, Mewtwo, the entire fiasco with the Unova Dragons. It's all futile. Nothing's worked so far. Everything was strong, but not strong enough. You know what the worst part was? How ridiculous people found, find our goals to be. No Pokemon is perfect. It's impossible. Anything that can be beaten with a anything can be beaten with a good tight matchup, high stats, and appropriate moves. You know what? Maybe they're right. Maybe we've taken the wrong approach to this. An unbeatable a perfect, unbeatable Pokemon. That's kind of a stupid thought. After all, a combination of Destiny Bond and Shadow Tag can take anything out easily. A strategy that can take out a perfect Pokemon can't take out an entire team. I'm realizing this now. Even one powerful Pokemon doesn't make you perfect. It still will be beaten. A team of powerful Pokemon perfectly synchronized, each covering each other's weaknesses and increasing their strengths. A team that can have no weaknesses could be undefeatable. Could be perfect. And now. That team, I am perfect. So bring it on, Wolf. You want to be the champion of the Torn Legion? Be my guest. We're going to have to beat the person who's beaten the Elite Four before you with their perfect team. Get ready to lose. Perfection Cultist, Perfection Cultist Leader Rakua, aka the champion Rakua, is, is our final fight. Tyran a tyr armor Tyranitar. Alright. Let's do this. The battle's on. I'm gonna just shut up and let the music play.
Delta Haxorus. Hmm. I don't know what type this thing is. Crunch is left either. I probably should have. I, mean, I probably should have fixed that. I don't know if Mir is faster or not. I'm gonna do the safe call here. I can I can take a wild guess and assume it's part steel. I'm gonna heal up Frankie for this, just in case I'm just in case, because Frankie could take Earthquake. Alright, so maybe a ground type. I'm sorry, Mir, but I can but I don't know what type this thing is, and I don't know what type this thing is, and I can't afford to lose Frankie right now. Your sacrifice isn't in vain. Let's see here. Alright, so we're at full health, so I can do whatever I think is the right call. So we know it's got earthquake. It's probably it looks like it might be a steel type, so iron tail probably, or iron head. I don't know what else it might have. Belly drum is a risky call though. Frankie's I can't trust it. I'm gonna go for Earthquake. Okay, you did have- you do have Iron Tail, so it was right on that. So you're probably a Steel type. You're either Steel Ground or- you're either Steel Ground or Steel and something else. But you're Haxorus. Tyranitar again. Rematch, then. Interesting call. So we're just over half. We're just about half. Literally just at half health here. If he gets a crit stone edge, Frankie's gonna go down. But if he doesn't, Frankie's gonna get the KO on him. Full restore. Okay, so that answers my question then on what he was going to do. We'll get some damage in with this earthquake at least. Hmm. I, if I did player up, I could try and I could get a chance of lowering his attack. I've only got one earthquake left. I didn't even I should have I should have done PV restore. Play rough that, because I know it play rough then. Let's go. Stone edge. 19. Alright, did we survive the sandstorm? No, we don't. Alright, so it's at a decent so it's at a decent health. It's still a decent HP. But I know what but I know what I can do here. Frankie, no for alligator. I never gave you a name, but now is a good time but now it's your time. Let's cook let's Let's take this. Let's superpower this thing and take get get it out of here now. I'm gonna lose attack and defense because of this. But first one's down. Who's next? Volcarona. Delta Volcarona. That looks awesome. It's weak to sandstorm and it's got an armor. Interesting. So it's armored, it's armored, and a delta. That is terrifying. I'm gonna take a get, if it's weak to sandstorm, then that means it can't be ground, rock, or steel, at least. We, at least I know that. I'm gonna go for a okay, giga drain, okay. So you, so you have that in your moveset. Hmm. Well, Frankie, so we're so it's two to one. It's two to one for him. I'm gonna try not do this with revise if I can help it. I have a max revive in the back. I have a max revive if I need to use it. Sandstorm's gone, which is good. I don't know. I don't know what it could be. It looks like it might be fire, but it could be so. It could be ghost or something because of the way that spray looks. I'm gonna fire punch it. Sludge wave. So poison maybe. Alright, that does that did neutral. Okay. 
I'm gonna try D dance. Dark calls. Poison. Poison dark, maybe? I don't know. Well, Frankie wouldn't have been any help for this thing, anyways. Uh, I should outspeed it. I guess I'm gonna I'm gonna go for Dragon Claw and at least get an idea of what it might be. All right, so Dragon Claw did neutral, so you're not in neutral, so it's not steel, so it can't be steel fairy, so it definitely can't be steel, and it's not it definitely can't be steel, and it's not fairy, and it's not dragon. Hmm. What type could this thing even be? I don't know. No, no, can you outspeed it? No, you're, no, he's gonna pull the store. At least we'll get an idea. At least we'll get an idea of, oh, maybe this will tell me what it is. It's not flying. It's not flying or water. I'm scared to do ice beam on the, I'm scared to do, I, I'm gonna call mine. Giga Drain, okay. I didn't do much. I'm gonna try seeing if I can set up with Fiona then. Fiona hasn't done much this entire Elite, this entire Elite Four. But maybe this will be the chance that she need. Maybe this will be the opportunity that she needed. And the calm, calm mind again, up to plus two now. And the, and those leftovers are gonna come in handy. Giga drain again. That's fine. I can work with this. Crit. Okay, that hurt a bit more. It's two and a half now. Your All right. I'm just gonna go for Thunderbolt since I know that works. Gonna go for Sludge Wave again. Doesn't get a crit, that's good. Thunderbolt, can it kill? No, it doesn't. Hmm. I'm gonna predict him healing. Okay, he did heal. Good. I made the right call then. I'm going for Calm Mind again. He can't sur there's no way he can get a survive a plus three this time. And we're going to get some leftover, he some heal from leftovers. So we're over 100 HP now. That's good. We're doing, we're doing good here. Thunderbolt. I'm gonna go for Dark Pulse. I didn't, I didn't like nothing, so that's good. Thunderbolt. Let's hope it kills this time around. It still didn't. It's still not enough. I don't know if he's gonna heal again or not. Giga Drain. Okay, so. I was wrong on that, but at least, but we're at three and a half now. There's we're at three and a half now. So even if he heals, that thing's gonna go down. Question is now, what else? Roost! You have roost. Okay, well that doesn't matter. It's it wasted its turn. You want to get get some a little bit of healing from the leftovers and down and the vote crit. That wasn't helpful. I might have been then actually. Now that I think about it, it probably, would have, it probably was a good thing I didn't get a crit earlier. And the reason being is because I wouldn't have been able to set up as much as I have. What's next? Flygon. Well, I know what the, well, I know what this thing is. Well, I know, well, if it's a base Flygon with no armor, it has to be a Mega, right? Why else would he have this? Ice Beam, then. I just... I should outspeed this thing. I should outspeed this thing, and and with the boost I have, I don't think it can kill me. It did outspeed me. What? Okay, never mind. It didn't kill. We're good. Come on. Come on, Fiona. There we go. That's what I needed. So he, so his mega is now gone. So he, so if he, ha his mega is gone now. Number three, Kiram is next. That damn Kiram, again. This at least it's not in, in a black. It's at least it's not Kiram black or Kiram black or white, because then would be even. Actually, Kiram black would have been good to have because at least Ice Beam would be super effective on it. Kiram white would have been the problem. Never mind. I'm getting ahead of myself. I don't know what this thing has, but as long as it doesn't- Draco Meteor! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh my god, we- 14. Fiona. This is your time. This is fu- This is your time in Salif 4. 
Down goes his Puro. Oh my god, I was extremely lucky. And they haven't healed Fiona at all. Those leopards. What the hell is this mute? What the hell? That is cool and scary as fuck at the same time. Thank God this isn't a this can't be Mega because he already used his Mega on Flygon. What on earth is that? What on earth? I don't even know what to say about that. I don't know if that's a Delta. I don't know if that's a Delta or if it's just his Mewtwo specifically or what that is. That is very creepy. Please not speed. Shit. Ah. Fiona. Oh, okay. It has a life orb, so it couldn't have Mega even if he wanted it. Wanted to. Fiona goes down. Bulbapedia. I just, I pray that, well at least I know it, so it's got a flamethrower. I pray that this thing is, I pray that this thing is a dark type or a fighting type, and it doesn't have a poison move. If it's got a poison or skill move, we lose. We lose right now. Dark Pulse, okay. That's fine. That hurt a lot. That hurt a lot. Come on, Moonblast. Oh no. Uh oh. Um. How many? I don't know how many times he's healed. I can't take the risk. I haven't healed. I've only healed once, and I know. And I think he's healed. He's either healed twice or three times. I don't know for sure. If he's heal if he's only healed twice, I know he's go he still has that Haxorus, which I don't know what type that is. Um I'm gonna play it safe and go with Frankie just in case. If he if he okay, he didn't heal, so wait, does that mean the life orb kills him? Well he got a crit. Well he killed well he killed all up here, yeah, so there goes my mega. But his Mewtwo was, but he killed, but this Mewtwo killed itself. Alright, so it's, so it's Frankie versus what? What does he have? Wait, he's down to one. It's the Haxorus again. Okay. Wait, I think, I think I can do this then. I've got one Earthquake, and then I just gotta guess on what, what else this thing might have. I want, then I just kinda guess between Grass or Fairy for attacking. That hurt a lot. Come on, Frankie. Come on, buddy. It's it's a one-on-one. -on -one. You have more than half your HP. Unless it gets a crit, I think Woodhammer might be able to kill it. This is it. Iron Tail. He goes for Iron Tail. 58. I don't... We get the kill. Frankie lives. We win. It's over. It's over! Frankie! I knew putting on this team was a good call, and it paid out! Champion Rakua has been defeated! Oh, for crying out loud! So, so... That's it, then. What a battle. Maybe. Maybe it seems like I have a little bit more to learn about, about this after all. Learn a little bit more to learn after a little bit more to learn about all of this after all. We'll meet again, I'm sure of it. And my team will be better and stronger. Rakua, the professor. Rakua. Sylvan. It's been a while. Congratulations, Wolf. I can't believe it. Just recently, you were in my lab, choosing your very first Pokemon. And now, you're the champion of the Torn League. That's amazing. So proud of you. Come. Let's get you registered in the Hall of Fame. Sylvan. Thank you. Keeping my secret. For everything. Sure, Rakua. 
I'd do it for anyone. I just wish I could have helped you more. Come on, Wolf. Let's go. It's finally over. Not now, phone. Shut up. Congratulations, Wolf. This is where I record you and your team to be remembered as champions forever. Before I do that, before I do, I have a message I should pass on to you. The man who has partnered with Victini asked you to meet him where you met you. Victini. Victini! Can you believe that? What a cool Pokemon, but yeah, he wanted to see you. He wouldn't say who he was, who he was, only that you, only that you'd know. In Amphrite City, he mentioned, you'd know specifically where. So, uh, that's your next goal, I guess. I'm not sure, I'm not really sure what's going on with all of that. But anyways, I digress. Congratulations, Wolf. You've done so much for this region, and now you've beaten its lead. You deserve it. Frank, the Delta, the Delta Munch left I picked up on the team. He was the original last member on the team. For Alligator, for Alligator, who was on the team for so long, he was the second longest lasting team member, but who was... Actually, I don't even know the thing. Well, it's over. <laughs> there is my character. 43 out. I don't know if the time is affected by the speed up, but wow. It's over. But with that, the credits roll. Really, though, so, I this team, this whole game is awesome. This entire game and project has been awesome, and all these de all these developers deserve every deserve every bit of credit you can give them. But holy crap, it's over now. Um, in regards to the team itself, at one point I will say this: at one point I was considering using Absol on my team. I almost very well went with it after Alakazam didn't really work for me. I almost considered doing that, but I didn't. I, ch I changed my mind and they chose to bring for Alligator back, and holy crap, he did. That was a good call. That might have been the best call I could have made before going into this, before getting into the final air few areas of the game. As for Mirror, Mirror was. As for Mirror, I knew about. As for Mirror, or Delta Lux, right in this case, I knew about. I knew about Delta. where the Delta Shinx was, and I, always, and I was always going to want to put that on my team, because I really like the type combination of wanting to make it work. Bulbapedia himself, I did sack him off the team for a while. But, I guess it. But I guess it was a good call. But I guess it was a good call to bring him to bring him back. He definitely helped. He's been one of the cornerstones. He's been the thing that we started the game with, and he and he definitely helped a lot in this game as well. He was there right at the very end when we needed him. As for Fiona, Fiona, I knew about her where she was as well, and I definitely and I was and I always wanted to use and I wanted to use that as well. Because even though, because Gardevoir is an interesting Pokemon on its own, but Delta Gardevoir with that type, I couldn't say no to not trying it. And I'm glad that I kept her around the whole for the whole time through the adventure. As for Frankie, he was he's been the bulk of the entire team, and I'm glad I picked him up. He's been he's been a monster on defense, and he's helped out this team more than I can count. Claire, though, she didn't get as much credit. She didn't do as didn't get too much credit, but this whole team, though, this whole team, we did, we freaking did it. I guess I can finish my thoughts real quick, though. Claire, she didn't, she wasn't around for a very long period of time. She replaced the Delta, she replaced Delta Rose right on the team. And she replaced Delta Rose right on the team, but she, Claire did have her moments, and she did stay. Claire did have her moments, and she did do very well when she, when she was in the right when she was in the right position to do so. Maybe I should have kept Outrage on it. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe it was a good call I didn't. But regardless, 
It was cool to have a Dragonite on my team as well, because I never, because recently when I've been playing Pokemon, I've tried to avoid use pseudo legendaries. I've only started getting back into doing that again with a personal playthrough of Pokemon Platinum that I'm doing that I'm doing that I'm doing for myself, where I'm using a Garchomp on my team. But to use something like Dragonite in a game like this, where you have all this crazy, where you have all this crazy stuff everywhere, and have a and have something as old, so have an old Pokemon like Dragonite still be useful, even a fan game like this is incredible to think. And I guess the last one, for alligator. This guy. Alligator. Root met him on Route 2, July 26 of this year. He's been around for uh, he's been around almost he's been around almost as long as Bulbapedia. In fact, only three in fact, only three days after I got Bulbapedia, I got I got for I got for alligator when he was only a crocodile. And there's only a little toad about him. And I kept him around for a long time because I need... Originally, I only kept him around because I was going to replace him with something else. Which I ended up did doing, which was Flygon. But when Flygon didn't... When Flygon didn't... When Flygon didn't really work out, and I... When Flygon didn't really work out... I brought Fra I brought Flygon back to the team. And he didn't disappoint. He definitely did not disappoint. I can be happy, and I'm glad that, and I'm almost glad that he did come back. Kind of a, a little bit, kind of a, a redemption for everything that happened. He didn't, Frank. Wow. I'm just out. Of, I don't know, really know what else to say. Though. The fact that I've done it, and that this, and that my, that the length, and that, and that I'm kind of like this dream that I've had of actually doing. Last place on YouTube is finally coming to fruition, and I finally have completed my very first one. And, and funnily enough, five years, I think, I think old me from five years ago would be happy that I would be happy that I finally got this done. Not in the exact way I originally intended, where I was stupid enough to try doing a Nuzlocke five years ago in this game of all things. That didn't end well. That di really didn't end well when I tried that back then. But Nuzlocke or not, just to even beat this game, to even beat this game in the first place, is nothing. Is nothing short of a great. Is nothing short of a great thing. And even and being uh, and having my team not even, having my team being at the levels they are is good, is a really good effort. But with that, that has been Pokemon Surgeons. Oh, kiddo. Little Birdie told me you're the new Elite Four champion. Congratulations, friend. Let me give you a special reward. Pika Pad. I will let you call me whenever, whenever you want. So I just key to a key and use it anytime. Come by and pick you up, and we can fly wherever, whenever we want, wherever in foreign. Anyways, what's up? <laughs> that is awesome. So the first guy we can. One of the first guys we can talk to can gives us something new. There's plenty of other new things we can do now that we've beat now that we're the champion. But that'll be saved for later for another time. Maybe I'll come back maybe I'll come back to insurgents later on and we could maybe I'll come back to insurgents later on and we'll do the post game. But, Maybe, but yeah, wait, maybe later on, I'll come back and we'll do the post game elements, and I'll do some of the, the some of the post game stuff in in the tournament region, and for this game, because there's a hell of a lot of it. But I think I'll take a break from Insurgents for right now. Maybe I'll come back later after all the Sword and Shield hype has come has calmed down, and I'll come back to Insurgents. I'll come back to Insurgents. And do some of the post games, post game stuff you can do. Because there's one specific event that I really want to do that is extremely awesome to do, and it'll surprise a few people on what it, on what exact on how far they exactly the game can these game creators can go when with something like this. But with that, I think it's, I think.
I think we're going to end things off here. In the town that it started in. Where it all began. Five years ago. I've been the Lowell Fraser. And next and tomorrow there will tomorrow there will be a Renegade Platinum episode. But after that, I think it's time to start another another Let's Play. Something that I've, another Let's Play that I've tried to do in the past, but, but it failed for but it failed for one reason or for one reason or another. But that'll be for another time. And I will say this: this next Let's Play is not actually going to be Pokemon related. If you, with my with my namesake with my namesake and with my namesake, I'm going to. It's time to go back to. It's going time to go back even back to the past again, but with a twist this time. Next time on next time on this channel, on the with Lone Wolf Racer or Seamus, as you like to call me, or Wolf in this case, we're going to go to Motors 4 Manager, and I'm going to, and it's going to, and we're going to do a career mode. A modded career mode, in fact, but not the, but not the one you would expect. But, that is for another time. I will see you guys in the next video, though. Goodbye.